We're planting sea oats so the oil can't get to the, um, the nests of the birds back behind us. It makes me feel like, like, like I'm part of everything and it makes me feel like I'm helping and doing the right thing. These dunes were actually artificially created because of the worry about oil spills and waves coming and washing in the rest of the refuge here. You know, the beaches are our way of life down here. We love them and we realized that we had to do something. Um, this kids in my class wanted to do something. I wanted to do something. It's, everybody wants to help and that's the main thing. I think everybody just wants to make things better. We're going to come back here when the oil's not as bad as it is now and see how the sea oats have grown. It, it feels like I belong to this right here, this area that I helped plant it and I could put my name on it if I wanted to. Yes, this oil slick just started washing up um, in the last hour or two and right at the same time this is going on, we've got a friends group project further down the refuge to protect our most sensitive habitats, our dune ecosystem, from oil that may wash ashore. So, um, you know, it's really heartbreaking to see all this oil in the Gulf and, and on the National Wildlife Refuge but it's a perfect example of why some of these projects are so important because here we are, we just finished planting about 3,000 plants and we've got oil washing ashore right now threatening these habitats.